Hello everyone. Today we would create a script that allows you to create a categorized table list with all unplaced legends, schedules and views. Then specify and remove them from your project. In Revit 2023, you could see a blue square next to the views in the project browser, which indicates whether it is positioned on a sheet or not. However, it would still require you to manually search and isolate these views before deleting. For the script, we would use five extra packages. Archilab, Genius Loki, Crumple, Clockwork and Datasheets. The logic for the script would work around dependencies of views as well, to make sure that only correct views would be deleted. Let's get started. Let's start with getting all views, schedules and legends from the current project. Search for Collector of Views from Genius Loki package. Create a group and name it Get All Views, Schedules and Legends. Now let's check which views have dependents. Get list.filter by Bowmask node and connect all views to list. Then search for views.dependence from Crumple package, connect all views to views and has dependents to mask. The reason why we check dependency before checking whether it is placed or not is because primary views could be not on sheets, but their dependent views might. That's why we would build a multi-stage filter logic to iterate through each option. Select these two nodes and create a group. Name it filter by dependency. Now search for views.isOnSheet node and connect out output to it. Get another filter by Bullmask node. We would use quite a lot of them today. Connect isOnSheet node to mask and out output from the previous filter to list. That way, we check all independent views whether they are placed or not. Create a group and name it Get All Independent Unplaced Views. Copy another is on sheet node and connect in output this time. Get filter by blue mask node and connect in output to list. That way we check whether any of the primary views are placed. Now we get another views.dependence and views dot is on sheet nodes. Connect out output to views in views.dependence node and dependent views output to view in views dot is on sheet node. Search for list.anyTrue node and connect bool output. What we did now is we gathered every dependent view for each primary view, then we check if at least one dependent view is on sheet. Make sure you specify list.anyTrue node to be longest tracing as you want to iterate through each true false list. Get another filter by bool mask node and connect bool output to mask and get out output from the previous filter to list. Now we have a list of primary views which has at least one dependent view placed on sheet and another list where all dependent views are unplaced. Create a group and name it get all primary views with unplaced dependent views. Search for list.create and add one more item. Connect out output from filter node and out output from get all independent unplaced views group. We now have our filter logic finished, so let's group views by the types. Get list.flatten node to make sure everything sits within the same list level. Search for view.type and list.group by key nodes. Connect type output to keys and flattened list to list. Press run and you would see that all views are now grouped by its type. Create a group and name it group by view type. Now let's build our UI window. Search for tree view input node. Create a code block and type list of unplaced views connected to input name. Get list.add item to front node and connect unique case output to item and group output to list. What we are trying to do now is to add type name to the beginning of each list so they would become list titles. To do that, select use level for item and specify level 1. Do the same for list by specify level 2. After you press run, you would see that each list now has its type name as first item. Now get boolean, change it to true and connect to first item is type. Make a code block, type 350 and connect it to high. Create a group and name it tree view input. Make sure you connect add item to front output 
to data in Treeview input node. Search for multi-input form and connect Treeview data to input. Get a boolean, change it to true and connect to toggle. Create a code block and type double quotes delete views, double quotes cancel, 500 and 200. Make sure each data is on separate rows and ends with semicolon. Connect item 1 to button text input, cancel to cancel button text input, 500 to width and 200 to label width. Create a group and name it main UI window. If you press run now, you would see our UI with group views. For the last bit, we need to execute the delete command after we select views. Search for elements.delete node from Archilab, as it only deletes given elements without affecting all dependent elements. Create a group and name it delete selected views. Now the script is done, save it and let's open it through Dino Player. Once we press run, you would see our interface with all unplaced views in the project. You can expand each category to individually select the views which you want to delete, or you can select all at the same time. For this example, I would select all and press delete views. As you can see, I removed all views which are not on sheets, however, all primary views which are not on sheets but with dependent views on sheets were not deleted. Let's undo and select individual elements instead of all and test it. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.